Hi everybody, hope everyone's well. Um, craft with me today. I'm going to make this thing I'll show you. Hang on, I've got to turn some mess. So what it is, uh, hang on, let me get the thing first. It's cardboard, thick cardboard. Um, and they go together in a set. But I don't know if I'm going to put them back together as a set yet or not. Um, this is the one I made yesterday. So I've got papers underneath and bits and pieces. And then on the back, I've got where you can write. So I've got a little peg up the top so you can peg it into your page. Um, I've splattered the peg. So it's just the same. Um, you can use it as a bookmark. You can attach it to the page with the peg. Um, I'll hang something off here with a ball chain, probably. Um, you can do what you want with it, but it's nice and sturdy. Um, you can draw around it to make other tags. You can do lots. So what I'm going to do is make um, this one and show you what I did. So I've sprayed it with um, gloss paint, uh, no, Tim Holtz paints, as you can see. So I'm going to be working on this side today. So I'm getting some um, just different backgrounds. Oh, backgrounds, I think. I've had my granddaughter here and she's been playing in my craft room sometimes while I work. I hate anyone touching my stuff, but um, I've put it all back now because it was all out of order and she's pretty good though. I'll give her something to play, butcher, this butcher's paper and um, she plays with it on the floor with some, she's just, well, she's only 19 months, so she's just discovered um, pens and pencils and crayons. So I bought her some crayons for Christmas and she's been using them, the big fat chubby ones. So this is obviously, you can see just a little pad that I've got. I bought these, um, I use the art glitter glue, but I have problems, I've got um, rheumatoid arthritis and I have problems with my hands. So my daughter, cause I'm illiterate when it comes to computers, bought me these little bottles. So that's what I've been pouring that into. And I'm finding them so much easier um, to use. So now I'm just bringing over my thing of washi tape to use some of them. Now my rule of thumb is never ever, ever trust washi tape. I always glue it. Uh, stick it um, hang on, I'm just trying to glue it stick it taper anything because I never trust it to come not to come undone and I love washi tape I have quite a few washi tapes that was just a generic one this here's a, a Tim Holtz one Uh, this one's not a washi tape. This one's a, mm, I don't know, like a tissue tape, I think they call it. Now, I don't like anything hanging over the sides, so I'll just trim that. Um, not on a background. I don't like anything hanging over the line on a background. So I'll tape it. I'll trim it. We've had hot weather here. Um, everybody's dying in shock. Um, it's been quite hot. Um, my veggie patches are growing out of control. I've got celery. I've got um, eggplants. I've got about 12 tomato bushes, all different kinds. Um, I've got uh, snow peas, um, eating peas. Um, capsicums, um, oh, just all sorts. They are just unbelievable. 
Um, I've got all my herbs out there. Um, I've got capsicums, cucumbers. Um, I'm going to... Oh, this is playing up. I'm going to teach my daughter to do some pickling. Not that I, you know, need to do it now much. It's just me here. But I'll teach her how to do some pickling. We'll make relish, relishes and some chutneys. All right. Do you reckon we need a little bit for the middle? No, I think that's... Oh, actually, I might put a bit of Dina Wakely in the middle. Um, yeah, so I've got all them growing. So I'm quite happy with that. I sit out there in the sun with my little baby puppies. Well, they're not puppies, they're old dogs, but I call them puppies. And talk to them and have a cup of coffee and work my garden. Um, at the little minute, I've got someone helping me. And I've got an old bathtub down the back. Well, two actually. And um, we're going to turn it's got frog in it, and now it's got lots and lots of tadpoles. So we're going to turn it into a pond, and I'll get some fish, I think. Okay, this here, I've had it a long time. I don't actually know where I got it or what it is. M M E, my mind's eye, oh, there you go. Uh, so it's very old, and it's this, and I'll show you. I got it in different patterns, and what I do is just put it on here and give it a gentle. Well, it's obviously a, oh, what do you call it? Um, rub on. But they're old, but they work awesome. Um, the other thing that I've been getting, which are absolutely fantastic, my supplier, and has been for many, many years, you'll find her on the craft group, Crafters Clearance on Facebook, is Catherine Moyes and or Kath's Craft and she's been selling um, 49 in market and they are absolutely amazing rub-ons. I would buy them a hundred times over. If you want any details of Catherine's um, Facebook page or her um, uh, actually I might put another one here or of her group or her page or anything, let me know and I will give it to you because um, they are just unbelievable. Um, and she's a fantastic top seller. And that is where, I might as well have a plug while I'm here, that's where I get all my supplies, 99.9% .9 of my supplies um, from her top person, always on time, awesome post, packed well, delivered well, everything outstanding. So if you're ever looking for a good supplier, that's who you go to. I've put many people onto her and they've all been impressed. So message me. All right. So that's a pretty good background. So what I thought I might do now is get my paints. These are my... Um, Devonport paints and just give this a bit of a paint over yes I know I should use a cloth but I don't just use my fingers I just like that bit of um, pop of color another thing I'm always using in the craft room are nappy wipes I've got them for the baby so I just steal them and, um, yeah, they're the best things I use. Rightio. So now I've got all my Tim Holtz dolls. And I'm just having a look at what I should put. No, oh, that's too big, those ones. Let's try these ones. What I should put on there. weather's like today the old um now this the other day was white and i don't know if you see me yesterday but my there's a bit of there my hands were so blue and i keep telling myself every time to put on gloves but i never do oh, um 
yeah, I don't know what the weather's going to be like today, but um, I can hear the old, what do we call it, banging out there. Okay, now what am I going to do there? I'll have to hide that. So what I think I'll do is I'll use double-sided tape. Right. I'm going to use double-sided tape to hold. It's not going to work, is it? This might be an error going to happen here. I don't know. Ah! Radio. Then we'll just glue him anyway. Yeah, this weather, I don't know what the hell's going on with it. It's stupid. Hot one day, cold the next, heater on one night, air conditioner on the next. It's just bizarre. Alright, now if I hold him down, there's a bit of tape just there, so we'll push. Uh, let's have a look. We'll just slice that bit of tape off. Yep, got him. Yep, now there's none on that side. Nope. Everything's down. So, the amount of times I have stabbed myself, cut myself, gouged myself with these stupid scalpels, my daughter reckons she's going to take it off me every time. But, you know, never mind. Alright, he's down. Don't look too bad. Give this a little bit of a trim. Yeah, something a bit um, decorative. Now I've got these words and that by Tim Holt. So let's kind of have a look here. All right. Would help if I put it up the right way. Now I need okay, I might put one of these up the top. I could double side tape it, but it's quicker just to actually I have all my things. This one, I have my tape. And I have my glue all sitting here to figure out which is the best. I just grab the first thing that um, first thing that comes along. Now, what am I gonna? Got some words here. Wonderful. That's a nice word to put. Wonderful. I love, love, as you would know if you watch my videos or see my page on Instagram, you know that I love my words. Love them. My words and my sayings are all important. That's just me banging a ink pad. Um, I don't know if you know, I use a Distress Ink brushed corduroy. But do you know what? I'll tell you a secret. I've got all these ink pads by Tim Holtz and they're all running out and I've got containers, uh, not containers, what do you call them, little things of ink and I never know what's what so I just pour them all onto one, um, one board, one, one ink pad. So it could be, uh, it could be mahogany and oak and I'm just using my paints again. Um, but yeah, they never are what they say they are. So, um, yeah. Now, I don't know if I need to add any more to him. I'll put the a little peg up the top like the other one so that we can attach it to a page I don't know if he needs anything more I don't think he does but pity these weren't filled with chocolates these are all got bits and pieces and my Tim Holtz and 
everything like that in it. Giggle. Oh yeah, there, why don't we put the word giggle? That might make it a bit more interesting. I don't, I never ever, as you can tell, if like I said, if you watch my videos, I don't plan anything. I just have all this stuff, like I keep telling you, I have all this stuff on my desk and what's on the desk I use. I don't go and get anything else and then I just add. I wonder if we should give him a crown. No, I don't think so. I think he doesn't. Maybe a little bit of... No, and I don't think he needs a crown. This is my container full of um, art by Marlene. Um, and it has everything he could want in. Oh, there's other things mixed in as well, leaves and um, everything. But um, no, I don't think I'll give him a crown. I think he doesn't deserve a crown. He looks good like he is. So then what I do, actually, I better take that off first. Then I turn him over. Then I've got, will that fit? Oh, beautiful. Then I've got this, um, now I've used the Tim Holtz um, water paper. Hang on, I'll get it out and show you. No, it's not Tim Holtz. It's blending card. So just in case anybody wants to put, uh, pencils, crayons, you know, um, sometimes in my journal, um, when I'm doing stuff, I will um, write something and I want to write it in crayon or add this or add that or, you know, do, oh, I'm running out of glue, or write something in paint. So it's a good idea to use blending card, I think, on mine. Anyway, I don't know what everyone else does, but... Um, That's what I do. Um, yeah, so I might want to draw a diagram or just colour something in or write something funny about something or other and then I use it. So then I will put the peg up the top and I think we can call that finished. So I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, just ask. Um, I'm always open to messages. I always answer your messages. So uh, you can contact me on Instagram, Facebook. Facebook, I'm under Suzanne Thomas. Instagram, I'm under Abby and Albert 64. I don't know. And yeah, you know where I am on Instagram. Um, and then if you type in Abby and Albert, it'll come up. And the same with on here. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, have a great day. Bye.